Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the King of Smut 95 Plays Language and Mobile. And uh, I've uh, been making a episode today to basically do an update. Uh, I have now reached the uh, 500 um, day uh, login um, uh, quest here. And uh, now I'm going to basically go through and just show you <clears throat> what I've actually managed to accomplish <clears throat> with the, uh, you know, uh, in the 500 days, um, basically, I'm you know, showing you what I've managed to summon, what I've managed to put on some of my characters, and basically what I've managed to do in terms of the bonds and that kind of stuff with the characters <clears throat> in this game. And again, I've spent um, no money on the actual, um, you know, you know, gapcha part of the game where you're trying to actually, uh, you know, summon and actually you know, get stuff for, for the game. I've done that part entirely free. So. Uh, this gives you hope for those people who are just, uh, you, know, um, you know, tired of spending money trying to, you know, to get all these characters and that kind of stuff. I've done it um, and got this far uh, with spending absolutely no money. So here we start with the, my main characters that I've got. Uh, my top three characters, uh, Leon, uh, Layden, and uh, Elwyn. Uh, they're all uh, total powers over 7,000. Uh, I've managed to power up uh, virtually all their weapons. And I've, uh, I've also awakened all of them. Um, Leon's got his uh, C3, uh, Layden's also got his C3 as well. Um, Elwyn, I've uh, uh, basically got his uh, thing awakened, but he, of course he doesn't have an extra um, C3, so basically I, I, I've got three on him. Sherry's my next closest one, she's almost at uh, 7,000, 6,700. And I've got her all powered up, I have awakened her, and I've also got her C3, so she's already uh, you know, pretty much on the way. Uh, Rachel's my next uh, you know, best AOE person. Okay, I haven't quite got awakened her yet. Uh, I'm going to do the, uh, the the thing on her for yet. Um, and she's next up. Um, Bozel has uh, been uh, uh, awakened and uh, um, you know got him uh, uh, also above seven thousand as well. Uh, Leonhart. Uh, okay, um, you know this is already to the characters. I've got all the main abilities on that one. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I got a, got a broken star on him, so I'm right now trying to get a balance blade and try to get him a little bit better. Uh, Lana is my next one. That I got, I've got enough to awaken her, but I, but, you know, she's only at five stars, so I have to wait on that one. Uh, Alt Mueller is about to be a new uh, character that, that I've got, so still working on him. Uh, Lestel and Landius. Yeah. Still have to work on them before I can get them awakened. Bernhardt again is one of my newer characters. Uh, Shuffinal's on my AOE team, and uh, so yeah, I gotta work on that. Liana's my main healer. Uh, Angelina, again, I gotta, gotta, gotta get more stars on her. Same thing with Jugler, gotta get more stars on them before I can awaken them properly. Uh, Estelle is one of the, the characters I got. Austrial's one of the new ones. And I uh, managed to get an Erler's bow on her, so that's important. Uh, Tiars was one of the main healers. Renata is one of the main, oh, sort of one of the new uh, characters I've just recently gotten in the summon. Uh, Samira, I gotta get, get her up to six. Renee's sort of the next main AOE person that I gotta work on. Uh, Yulia, same thing. Uh, Luna, definitely gotta get her up. She's only at four star. But I gotta awaken her and get her ability, but she's only at four stars right now, so I gotta get her going. Uh, Omega's another one that I gotta, I gotta get the number of stars up, get the criticals and that stuff on him. Night of Mystery's still a, one of the newer characters. Uh, Zarita, I gotta get powered up. Ares, again, is supposed to be a very good character, but I uh, yeah, haven't been leveled up. Deedlet, another very key character, so I've got to get the, the stars on them up. So one of the things that I've done recently is also I've uh, <clears throat> gone through and I've basically unequipped every SS, uh, SR that I have and every R that I have. And any weapon that um, was uh, basically on them basically uh, you know got returned back to the weapons pool. And then I'm slowly going through all the SSRs and redistributing uh, the weapons and that kind of stuff accordingly uh, to those characters and which ones w which will best suit them and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so again, I'm doing a you know re uh, you know going through and rebuilding the weapons from that uh, um, you know, from the uh, f from the top down again and then redistributing weapons up. So that's why some of the characters in the SR range are kind of you know messed up in terms of their weapons and and uh, you know the distribution of that uh, 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 you know rain right now so um, but you can definitely see what we you don't know, want to have uh, you know sort of assorted to them and uh, so the layout will probably change as uh, you know 
I, I get better rules and um, and maybe some characters will will, will change a little bit to, you know depending if I get like a you know a really high you know something in the teens um, percentage rule on something uh, that's useful for them and then maybe I'll be able to, you know, to switch that weapon on them instead you know, that's some really strange ones like for example I know I have that one broken star which is a 10% attack a 10% intelligence I currently got it on Leonhard right now but of course you know you know a broken star is not a really good weapon so uh, finally got myself a balanced blade, and again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that put on uh, Leonhardt once it's uh, leveled up. But again, you know, just, just going through some of the uh, the uh, you know the weapons that are on some of the SRs as I'm going through here. Um, <clears throat> uh, all the characters that uh, I've got in this uh, in, uh, this roster, um, um, basically, I've got uh, all the SSRs um, as listed on the uh, on the roster. There, uh, they're all level seventy. All the uh, SRs are level 69, and all the um, um, Rs are level 68. And the reason I've done that is so that when you look at the roster, they're all sorted by, um, you know, from the top to the bottom. Okay, so now I'll go to the bond section. Of the, so these are basically all the bonds I've worked on. So you can see that I've, uh, first of all, A, uh, leveled everybody up to um, Intimacy uh, 25. So everybody in the entire list is up to 25. And I've already uh, completed all the heart bonds on uh, on about half of the characters, I guess. I mean, mostly all of the SR, you know, SSRs I've done, and then some of the ones that just don't have the links, like uh, you know, toward the bottom here, which I haven't quite get completed. And the Renata, and of course, Gizroth are uh, my newest characters that I've just recently gotten. Okay, so I'll just flip back to the top here, and then you show you that okay, uh, I've already completed uh, um, Sherry, and I've also got the Heart Echo, so that means I've already got her uh, Love Confession. Already done, and same thing with Lana here. Um, I've already got her love commission done. She's uh, you know, uh, Rachel again, full hearted. Uh, the little twenty five got the love commission done for her. Um, completed the one for Freya as well. As you can see with the hard echo there, and uh, done Angelina. So this is a, you know the sign of basically the Gapcha and uh, you know the creation of the harem as it were so uh yeah so we got the shuffle done i've also done uh varna here as well uh also knocked at 25 um the stell's done and uh the, you know liana is done liana's actually my first uh um, ssr that i've actually summoned in this game okay and the next one i've worked on is narm and again, I've got uh, her um, love profession done. Uh, continue to list her. Yulia is the also one I've also completed as well. Got her up to 25. Full uh, um, heart bond uh, all done up. Uh, Luna is also done. Got her echo. And uh, Claret. I've also done her um, heart echo as well. And the last character I've done right so far, the most recent one, is Tiaris. Um, finally unlocked her and got the love confession from her as well. So that's basically what it is. And then from there, basically these are all the other characters, uh, you know, starting from um, uh, the next one probably coming up is going to be Chris, uh, Frerequa, uh, and then basically all, all these guys have, have already started and they yeah, got different uh, you know, levels of it. Okay, so uh, a little, quick little summary here. Um, some people ask me that uh, you know how do you do this game with so much grinding and uh, do to you know so much work uh, every single day. Uh, so I'm gonna go through the dailies uh, routine that I normally do, and you'll find that yes, you can do all the dailies in 10 minutes. So in the next little bit, I'll just sort of let you go through the dailies uh, that I normally typically do on a typical day. So uh, and uh, you can see that uh, you know that you can follow and um, and see what I can do. So. Um, well, going on with the stats here, uh, basically, um, with the heart bonds and that kind of stuff, um, the statistics on it is I basically got 26 characters with the heart bond completely completed, and so that's uh, you know that's important to stage because that's where you get um, all your stats are plus five percent, so it's a good uh, you know that's a good boost to, to your character. Um, 16 of the characters I've got are in progress, and um, you know that's what I usually do is I try to get all those silver keys, um, or sorry the um, bursting keys are the key to the that uh, bond uh, section so you know basically 
I want to try to basically unlock as many as I can because once I get past the the bursting keys part, then it's then it's uh, materials that I that I should normally have. It's all the flowers and the and the, the you know the seeds and all that other stuff. So you know that's just a matter of you know that's that's theoretically easier to get because you can get those through the guild and you can also get those um, through the uh, through the trader. So, uh, so yeah. So it's most important for me right now is, is, is to just open up all the all the characters using the bursting keys. So sixteen of them are in progress, and that leaves me thirty three of them left to do. So I've got more than half of them already done, uh, which is a, you know a pretty good start for wh where I am. Now the other really important part is that I'm right now in that sweet little spot. As I've already released videos, and you can you know check up on my channel um, on basically how to get past certain hurdles in this game. You know some of those you know those weird spots that you know you just can't seem to get past until you get your characters up high enough okay so uh one of these sweet spots that, I, that i'm referring to is once you pass level let's say 55 and uh, somewhere between level 55 to level 65 is that little sweet spot that you that you got where you can basically get most of the stuff that you really need to you know to when you do your daily grind and that kind of stuff that you get all the things that you sort of need um, You know, that's that sort of spot where you can complete um, All the secret realm stuff level 60 level 65, you know try to get Obviously level 65 for at least uh, you know your um, you know things like yeah Anikis you want to try to get level 65 for your bonding realm you want to get to level 65 for um, at least the dragons, okay? I'll, you know, try to get at least all the dragons at level 65 because that way, um, you know, you have a good chance that you can actually drop um, an SSR, okay? Um, same thing with the, um, uh, you know, the the the, the, you know, the, the special arena there, the, the in the secret uh, uh, realm, uh, all the bosses. Uh, you want to try to get those at least up to 65. Like I said, I got most of them to 65. So at least that, that, that way I, I can get the um, you know the special bond thing to you know to finish the bonds right. Um, uh, I still think I have Phoenix 65 to do and I have uh, Levit uh, no um, Scalia 65 the left to do so um, so otherwise I'm level 60 otherwise but for those guys so that's so you know there's some work there that I need to do and I think some of the Nikis I'm, 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 I'm at 60. And, but otherwise, you know, I, I kind of probably could do those things and get them 65. But um, no, I have been concentrating a lot of the stuff to do. Is that most of the, of the troop types I've, I've got are already complete. Um, now I just gotta kind of go backwards and kind of complete the rest of the, uh, you know, the, the uh, smaller tree and get those all up to you know 10 out of 10, um, just to you know get the character, uh, get the the last of the troops powered up. Um, but again, yeah. So basically, uh, my strategy was to, you know, get all the troops that I need unlocked, get that done, so that theoretically I don't really need to worry about the Nikis anymore. Now I'm right now working on the bonds, and theoretically once I get that all sort of done, I don't technically need them anymore. Um, I've already got all my characters leveled up pretty much close to level 70 for everything, and just so every day I'm just kind of holding on to my XP and just kind of, you know. Um, letting the characters, you know, try to gain their experience points by themselves. And again, most of the SSRs are already at level 70 anyway, so, uh, you know, they're not going to get any more levels anyway. So most of the levels that I'm getting are for the SRs and the Rs. Um, and, you know, just, I'm leaving some experience points available so that basically, um, you know, when, when, my, when I do my dailies, I can still level up something and do something. Because like, again, if, it, if I waste all my, um, Experience points and uh, and whatnot, and level everybody to level seventy. Then I'm not gonna have anybody else to level up when I actually have to do that particular thing. So it's um, in my best interest not to level up too much faster at this present moment. So yeah, so I'm just, I'm just holding on to all the um, you know to all my, all my all my XP potions and that kind of stuff. So I'm not level you know, so I'm, you know kind of pulling back the brake and you know actually. <laughs> Uh, letting off the gas on, on uh, XP, but again, at least that way now I don't have to worry about buying XP potions, for example, or um, you know, I don't have to worry about trying to um, you know get them get them more spend money on them using the friendship points or something like that. Like, I can actually now concentrate purely on um, now uh, again bond. So anything having to do with bonds, uh, so basically uh, um, 
uh, you know, concentrated. Uh, you're using my, my guild points, for example, to to buy the seeds, the flowers, and the, and, and whatnot. Okay, um, I can then concentrate um, all my friendship points um, to just buying like hammers and that kind of stuff to upgrade all my weapons. Okay. So I'm at the stage right now, as you can see, when I went through all my weapons, uh, that oh my guys, that basically all my SSR guys have now pretty much got SSR weapons. Not all of them are powered up, of course. My main top, let's say seven, probably maybe eight characters um, in SSRs um, have all the weapons that they need, and they're all pretty much level 50. But you know, I'm doing some swapping around and some, some upgrades. So again. Um, you know, for example, Lana, for example, I'm, I'm redoing Lana a little bit, uh, giving her more weapons, um, you know, concentrating more on intelligence and that kind of stuff, getting them done up. Um, again, same thing with um, the stealth. I had built her in a kind of a funny way, which basically um, emphasized her magic death, but then I realized that it's probably she does more damage uh, with hit points because they're, you know, when she does her um, 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 blood attack. Uh, you know, it's half her hit points, so therefore, uh, the fixed damage from the hit points is actually more than the you know, more than what you do if you if I had higher de MDEF. So, again, um, I de equipped her and basically I'm restructuring her, um, to do more, um, to basically have her, have her equipment give her more hit points, so then she'll do more damage the, that way, okay? Um, just, just uh, things like that. Uh, so I'm slowly going through my characters. Uh, slowing, uh, you know, making the adjustments here and there uh, to the various SSRs and that kind of stuff uh, uh, there, okay. Um, so that's, uh, you know, that's sort of what, what my process is. And again, um, right now, okay, I'm at this stage of the game where, um, you know, I'm still trying to build my characters, I'm still leveling up my characters. Um, I'm, you know, occasionally just, you know, do, do a feeler into the time rift and do you know, maybe a, 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 the next mission on the map or that kind of stuff, just to see if I can do it. Um, I know that most of the things on on level 60 or whatever, um, I should be able to do. I, I, I'm pretty, I should be comfortable to do. I mean, now I have some characters that you know that have like 7,000 um, over 7,000 uh, you know CP. You know, they should be able to do it. I mean, you know, when you've got you know, for example, Leon with a with a C three ability. You know, Layden's got a C three. Um, you know, I probably should wait until I get like um, maybe um, you know Luna with her C three. Um, you know, uh, um, uh, Rachel she's got a pretty good AOE at C three. So um, you know, once I get those sort of done, then then you know it should be way way easier. But um, you know, again, I'm not in any rush. Or I'm not you know progressing with the map. As quickly as probably as I should do. And again, the maps right now is probably like level 60. And I know that at least when I was doing um, joint battles and that kind of stuff, I'm holding my own, uh, you know, doing joint battles 65s. You know, sure, I've seen some pretty decent, uh, you know, Zaritas and, and um, you know, Omegas. Uh, of course, you know, there's you know, lots of good, uh, you know, Leon players and that kind of stuff out there. So, you know, definitely I know that I can still do better. And uh, you know, I still need to level up certain characters, but uh, you know, that's uh, sort of the, you know that's part of the game. So now you know, you know let's, let's you know, work on my Luna, work on my Jugler, and that kind of stuff. Get them all up because uh, those are popular characters that uh, you know people are going to use. So this is going to be sort of my, you know my, my my path right now, and, and I know that you know there is work to be done, and um, you know, uh, you know there's, there's more games to play. So that's just basically how I was able to do basic all my um, uh, dailies and you can see it takes about 10 minutes and I'm done for the day and I've got all the rewards and and I just uh, basically go through this pattern uh, every day and uh, you know and that's it. if you if this is the minimum that you can do every day hey you know you can get pretty far in this game um, there are some you know various different uh, you know some some, some very just you know, good All right, so what you want to do right now is I go down below, click like and click subscribe, and then when I get to the next uh, threshold, uh, then I'll you know, post another video um, of me, uh, you know, how far much farther I've gotten in the game. Maybe by then I'll have all my bonds complete on the characters, and I'll have all the weapons on stuff, uh, you know, done properly for all the S SRs maybe. And um, hey, maybe I'll actually get somewhere in the time rift, and maybe I'll actually finish the first part of the story. 
uh, by that time and actually can do stuff with level 65 uh, at that time. But again, you know, we'll just keep plugging away at the game, all right? So, until next time, see you again.